Unit Three. Teen stress and pressure. Unit Three. Page twenty six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Hi, Foop. Where's Mai? Isn't she coming? She said she was too tired and didn't want to go out. She's been staying up late studying for the exam. Does she need to be that stressed out? Maybe not. But my parents always expect her to get good grades, and she doesn't want to disappoint them. They want her to go to a top college and study medicine. Really? She told me she wanted to be a designer. Yes, that's why she's been a bit tense lately. She doesn't know what to do. My parents said design graduates wouldn't find jobs easily, and they wanted her to get a medical degree. Oh, I understand. Sometimes I wish my parents could put themselves in my shoes. Anyway, my needs to take a break. I'll call and ask her if she wants to go and see a film with us tomorrow. Oh, I doubt it. She's already fully booked for the weekend with her maths class, English class, judo class, and music lesson. Unit three. Page twenty nine. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Listen to the recording and practice saying the sentences. Pay attention to the way the verb be is pronounced. One. Where are you? You aren't at the bus stop. I am at the bus stop, but I can't see you. Two. Are you busy right now? Yes, I am. Sorry, could you wait for a minute? Three. Is Ronya in? No, she's out ice skating. But it's so cold. It is, but she's got all her warm clothes on. Four. Wasn't Bill disappointed about the exam result? He was, but he was hiding it well. Unit three. Page twenty-nine. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Look at the following sentences and underline the verb forms of be, which should be stressed. Then listen to the recording to check and practice. One. You aren't worried about the exam. Good for you. I am worried, but I try not to show it. Two. Do you think Jack is good at Japanese? He is, but he's a bit shy to speak it. Three. Isn't badminton her favourite sport? Yes, it is. Four. Who's he? Five. Sorry, we're late. Actually, you aren't. We haven't started yet. Six. Is she happy at the new school? Yes, she is. She likes it a lot. Unit three. Page thirty-two. Skills one. Speaking. Activity four. Listen to two students calling a child helpline, and complete the notes. Then use the notes to role play the callers. 
Hi, I'm from Hanoi. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm feeling a bit depressed about my situation. I've been studying really hard to satisfy my parents and have always had good grades. But last week they said they didn't want me to go to art school to be a designer. They want me to be a doctor. I feel confused. I don't know what to say to my parents. My name's Lom. I'm 13 and I'm from Ho Chi Minh City. I made a friend playing online games and we've met several times in real life to play video games in internet cafes. Last week, he told me he needed five million dong and asked if I could help him. I said no, but two days ago, he said he would make my life difficult if I didn't give him the money. I'm a bit worried. Should I tell somebody about this? Unit 3 Page 33 Skills 2 Listening Activity 1A Listen to an interview with Miss Sweetie, the advice columnist of 14 magazine. So, how do you like this work? Oh, very much. I feel like I'm living my teenage years again. <laughs> But really, it's great that I can help our dear readers in this way. Do you find it difficult to give advice? Well, yes. I take time to think of the best possible advice that I can give. I think it's most important that we put ourselves in other people's shoes. So it's about being able to empathise. Exactly. But even so, we also need to be very careful about how to put the advice into words. We need to be sensitive. It's not only about giving the best solution. It's also about helping the person get over the negative feelings. For example, I often use, it might be a good idea to, rather than, you ought to. Or perhaps, I think you should, for me, sounds much better than, you must. <laughs>